Oh, yeah, I think I'm making a video. All right, the pure so. This glove away. Ugh. So anyway, outdoors, and it's not too bad today. Uh, anyway, a little over. Well, there, too much than too little. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, too big than too small, right? Anyway, um, yeah, so the subject is, eh, vague-ish. I've just been thinking, you know, as I do sometimes, one of the things I was thinking about is this idea of ignorance and that it's really the problem with everything, right? I mean, there is no really um, evil, evil. There's just ignorance. There's just people doing really dumb things, and if they knew what you knew, they wouldn't do them. If they thought the way you thought, if they perceive the circumstance the way you perceive it. It understands simple things like, okay, uh, is it just a technical truth? <laughs> you know, uh, my interests aren't more important than everybody else's interests. You know, my happiness isn't better than their happiness. These are just technicalities, but they're sort of important. And so once you know that, yeah, it kind of narrows the realm of possible because uh, you also know that there's some sort of reasonableness, you know, to this logic thing. And that uh, when there's just something that's logical and reasonable and there's equal signs and plus signs in the math, it's just this really easy, you can't ignore that. Um, even if you want to, you just can't. You can step over it. You can willfully say, I just don't care if I can get away with it. And yeah, that's sort of human nature. It's human behavior. And, uh, you know, somebody who's intelligent can do that in a way. But if they have the even greater intelligence to know that, no, you really can't do that. There's a line where you can't do that. Uh, in a line of when it's important kind of thing. And uh, when somebody points out to you that, you know, if everybody steals, <laughs> you know, uh, 50 cents, then, you know, it adds up to whatever, $150 billion or something. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it adds. The point is, it adds up, or it makes something impossible, or you can't do something because if everybody breaks the rules that way. And so then that's another piece of logic, another piece of understanding, and says, okay. You can't do that. I thought it'd be simpler to say something just as that simple, but it really isn't. Because the way people think is kind of convoluted. And I suppose there is a kind of malicious thinking. You know, thinking that's just so overtly um, selfish. But again, I guess I would say there's always some underlying thought that really makes the difference. Some understanding that, you know, changes whether you will, uh, you know, whatever. To, to, I don't know, sign the papers taking Marley's fortune or whatever the, the analogy is. Doing this selfish act, the self-serving thing. So anyway, uh, why is this relevant or meaningful? Well, I guess it's meaningful in the sense that, yeah, it really is just about um, conveying understanding from one person to another person. But that's really all we have to do is convey what we know to be uh, logical and sensible in terms of the function and getting uh, the right answer. And... Uh, yeah, because there's a right and wrong answer for everybody. For every decision we make, there's kind of, most of them have right and wrong answers. Some of it doesn't matter. Some of it's 50-50. Uh, you know, if I take this path versus that path, eh, probably not much difference. Uh, outcomes won't be significantly, hugely different. Unless this dog coming is going to, you know, bite me somewhere important. Um... So, hey, there you go. hey, pup. Uh, so, what was I? 
pay up. No, the subject was yes, ignorance. So anyway, so it is just a conversation. You're just trying to say, here, here's, here's an understanding uh, of how you can't win the game by screwing someone else over. I'm just looking at the things on the ground. Hey, how you doing? Really cold weather for running. But it's good that they're <laughs> staying young and healthy, wearing pleasant pastels. <sighs> Very nice. Anyway, um, I should probably do that also, but we'll see. Anyway, not worry. Wearing the running jacket. Anyway, so yeah, it's just conveying understanding. You, know, you say, boy, that's not too daunting a task, really. <laughs> you should be able to do that without too much trouble. And it, it, especially from my perspective, it just doesn't seem like this is all that complicated. Uh, you know, feeling thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put an awful lot of work into this thing to get anything good out of it. Uh, you know, understanding the basic economics of it. Uh, the fact that, you know, intelligence is really good for... Um, it's useful as a practical thing in the world. But it's not very useful for your, indip your individual function. It's a very good social tool to have intelligent people, but it's a really useless, in a way, personal tool because it will uh, make you more aware of, <laughs> you know, the fundamental futility. Uh, you know, you won't be able to get caught up in the whole riding of the bandwagon fun. You know, that just really won't do it for you. You'll need a you know, more, more complex gratifications, <laughs> yeah. uh, more complicated solutions to more complicated problems uh, to find yourself at all um, thrilled. And, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit of liability, uh, personally, I think, for people to have uh, too active a uh, uh, social mind, or a logical mind even, uh, yeah, because it's just going to start crunching choices and alternatives, and, uh, it might even be capable of grinding some regret and other kinds of bullshit into their brain that they don't need, where the simple-minded, uh, have simpler problems, uh, and the luxury of having almost no problems <laughs> at times because uh, their brain doesn't make them. Their brain doesn't see danger and it doesn't see uh, stupidity and, and it doesn't see very far. And so it can wallow in things for what they are. It can just joyfully play and yeah, you know, they're not too distracted by uh, you know, the paranoia of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess there's some other um, fundamental mechanisms of psychology that do probably make it easier for dumb people to get by. Uh, to to enjoy the play of the game. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I, you know, I guess, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just going through it now in my head. That's probably not the right time to do it while I'm making the actual video. <laughs> we'll just go with that theory for now. And it uh, doesn't really matter, I suppose, if it's right or wrong, but... I think, generally speaking, we all know uh, that the, 
that the people, the fools, are easily satisfied, easily pleased. Um, so, and now where do we go? <sighs> yeah, so that's sort of an interesting point, though, that um, intelligence is a very good tool for the world, for the, the big game, needs the intelligent people to engineer all the efficiencies and stuff, you know, to find all the goodies. Uh, but the intelligence isn't really good for playing the actual game. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is sort of uh, an interesting uh, potential fact, we'll call it. Uh, so I, I can see there's just might be cause for people to be a little uh, apprehensive to acquire uh, some clinical knowledge. Might be another way of looking at it, is that clinical thing. Being too clinical, uh, it's very, um, it's, it can, can create obstacles to the natural function. You know, you start analyzing uh, your pleasures, like eating or having sex or something, or start analyzing things for which you derive pleasure. Uh, you know, you start uh, dissecting uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the things you're chasing. Uh, yeah, you might find the smelly, ugly parts, and uh, they're not going to do much for your enjoyment libido thing. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna be as into the the gameplay uh, you know once you've uh, realized it's a mechanical rabbit you're chasing. <laughs> yeah, if you're one of the dogs and you you find out it's a fake rabbit, you know, it just might not do the same thing for you. you might not run as hard. So that's another catch of intelligence is that it uh, sort of enables you to, you know, jump 10 moves ahead <laughs> you know, and see yourself, oh, that's right, I get that, and then I'm going to want the accessory, the Kung Fu grip thing, and then I'm going to want the whatever, the canopy umbrella thing, and I'm going to want the uh, spinning woody do, and then I want them LED lighty things that go up and down. And, you, you know, you can see yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, you can see the complexity that everything gets you into. Uh, and that is kind of, uh, you know, substantially uh, can diminish the playability even of the game. This is a point where you realize that, yeah, if I add this all up, there's a lot of rowing to this boat game. <laughs> yeah, an awful lot of rowing and rowing and rowing. And do I actually ever get anywhere? Or am I just spinning in a, a circle of desire? Uh, a whirlpool of desire. <laughs> and where does it end? Oh, that's right. Glub, glub. You know, the sucking sound as you whoosh down the line. Uh, to rise up, <laughs> yeah, in Indonesia, just in time for Thanksgiving. <sighs> anyway, yo, oh, there that was a video. <sighs> Didn't think I had one today. Really wasn't in the mood, but there it is. Perfectly satisfactory video. Not too noisy because of the wet, frozen. <laughs> materials and uh, so it did quite adequately. Yeah. <sighs> Hands cold, but that's okay. I can take it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's it. Yeah. Well, you know, I should just finish up my walk here as I usually do, get to the flatland. Keep their yard very nice there next door. Very nice.
more natural here, but <laughs> you know, both have their advantages, I suppose. Anyway, ooh, I have to start putting on lights. I hate that. Anyway, until next time. Ooh, I just realized. Ooh. Anyway, okay, until next time. Yeah.